Hey, what's up guys? Dave here from CNC3D. So today we're going to be talking about USB selective suspend and why it can be a problem for you when you're trying to connect to your CNC machine and run jobs over USB. It's probably the most common cause of job stoppages out there. And what USB selective suspend basically is, is it's a power saving feature and an emission saving feature built into Windows 8.1 and Windows 10, which is a really amicable thing to do, but it's not the best thing to have when you're trying to stream data to your CNC machine. So usually you can tell if there's an issue with USB, you'll be halfway through a job and then all of a sudden that job will stop. Now to give you a little bit of background information, whenever you stream a job, say for example in our CNC 3D Commander software, um, what will happen is it'll, it'll send a line of G code and then we're waiting for the controller to tell us that that's been accepted. So we'll get an OK back from the controller and then we'll go ahead and send the next line. Now where the issue can be with USB selective suspend is it will actually try and toggle the USB ports or power them down in order for them to save power. Now, you can quite easily mitigate this issue, of course, if you go to our Nighthawk CNC controller, which has Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and SD card. And so if you are able to connect your Nighthawk controller via Wi-Fi, which is what we recommend, then you can upload jobs directly to the SD card on board, and then choose to run them directly off the SD card using either our commander software or the built-in web UI interface of the Nighthawk. But for those of you that are limited to a USB connection, we're gonna show you today how to go through and disable USB selective suspend and how to optimize your power settings for that particular machine that is actually running your CNC machine. So as you can see here, we've just got our Windows desktop here. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just right click on a blank space and go into display settings. Now, once this loads on the left hand side here, we've got a power and sleep button. So we'll click on that. And then all the way over here on the right hand side, we'll click on additional power settings. And then what we'll do is we are going to, first of all, change our plan settings. So we'll click on that. And as you can see, this is a laptop here, so it does have a battery option. And so you can choose to adjust these to never and never. Now, what that means is, is that basically, if your battery gets too low, it's not gonna do anything. Um, it's, it's basically just gonna run the battery totally flat. It's not gonna try to save anything. So just make sure that your laptop, if using one, is definitely on power in order for your job to be successful. Now, what some people choose to do is maybe leave, put the computer to sleep to never, but just to turn off the display after say five minutes, which on battery power is perfectly fine and will still allow the computer to continue to function. Now let's get into the USB selective suspend side. So we're just gonna click on change advanced power settings and that will open this window here. And if you go down, you'll notice there's a USB settings there. We'll just expand that. And then there is our USB selective suspend settings box. So we'll just expand that. And as you can see on both battery mode and plugged in, it is enabled. Let's just go and disable that function now. And then we'll just hit apply down the bottom here and then just go okay. Now this is gonna be an ideal setting for you to have on there. We've just disabled USB selective suspend. We've got it so when it's plugged in, the display won't turn off the computer will not go to sleep. And if you're on battery, then we've got it set to turn off the display after five minutes, which is perfectly fine to do. That will save a lot of power, but it will never go to sleep. So just be aware to make sure you're always plugged in, but at the same time, you have to absolutely have it running on battery. Try to save as much power as you can, but don't allow the computer to fall asleep. Now that that's done, all we need to do is just hit save changes and then that will automatically update your power settings. At this point in time, you can close out of these windows and you should be good to go. Um, look, hopefully this is probably gonna solve a lot of your USB related issues when you're trying to stream jobs to your controller. So definitely give this a go and it may save you destroying some extremely expensive work pieces because you weren't able to continue with the job. 
So I hope this video has been helpful, guys. Thanks again for all of your support and happy building. Have a good day.